Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics course. In this part, we are going to see how to set up your machine to develop with TypeScript. As we have seen in the previous videos, TypeScript is actually a superset of JavaScript. This means you can't use TypeScript on any platforms that support JavaScript. You need to compile or transpile your TypeScript into JavaScript in order to run it on any platform that supports JavaScript. TypeScript comes with TypeScript compiler. TypeScript compiler is a node module. You need to have Node and NPM installed in order to get TypeScript compiler installed. Node is a popular JavaScript based platform and npm is node package manager so let's see how to get node and npm installed on your machine so we can install typescript compiler to download node for your operating system go to nodejs.org and download the version for your operating system i'm running 64-bit windows operating system so i'm going to get this current version which is version 8.3.0 once it is downloaded just double click on it to install Read and accept the terms and conditions and then choose the location for installing node. Just leave it with the default, you'll be okay. And I'm going to install everything. I'm going to leave all the options selected here and press install. This is going to install node on your machine. When you install node, it will also install npm for you. So you don't need to install it separately. Now installation is completed. I'm going to quickly go to console and verify node and npm are installed as expected. I'm using a console called commander. On command prompt, I'm going to type node minus minus version. If node is installed successfully and added to systems path, I'll be able to run this command successfully. And when I run this, I'll be able to see the version of node installed on my system. As you can see, I have installed version 8.3.0. Now we can verify whether we have installed npm successfully in a similar way. To verify npm's installation, just type npm minus minus version. This is going to show the version of npm that I have installed. So I have got version 5.3.0. So now we have node and npm installed. Let's see how we can get TypeScript installed. To install TypeScript compiler, say npm i, which is to install, and I want to install TypeScript compiler, so type TypeScript minus g minus g is to say install it globally you can install typescript either globally or locally it's up to you it is recommended to install typescript locally if you have multiple projects using different versions of typescript now we have installed typescript version 2.4.2 to verify whether we have installed typescript correctly you can use typescript compiler command which is TSC. If you just type TSC and press enter, you'll be able to see this help message. If you see this help message, we have installed TypeScript successfully. Now we have installed TypeScript compiler successfully. The next thing that we need on our machine is good code editor. One of the very good code editor I have come across for TypeScript is VS Code. VS Code is free code editor from Microsoft. You can use it for TypeScript development. To get a copy of VS Code, go to code.visualstudio.com and download the installer for your operating system. So I'm on code.visualstudio.com now. I'm going to download the version for my operating system. Just double click to open the installer and follow the installation wizard. Make sure you tick these two options. This will give you an option to open a folder using VS Code in Windows context menu. Now we have VS Code installed. Let's launch this and configure it for TypeScript development. Now I'm going to open an empty folder called basics. File, open folder and the path. So this is the folder I want to open. So I'm just selecting this folder and select folder. So now I have opened this folder on VS Code and this folder has nothing in it. I'm going to create a new TypeScript file called main.ts and in this file I'm just going to say console.log hello so that's my TypeScript file now in order to transpile this TypeScript file into JavaScript I'm going to create a TypeScript config file with minimal configuration so the TypeScript config file should be named as tsconfig and it's a JSON file. So in this file, I'm going to create a key called compiler options. So I'm going to specify a few compiler options here. The first one is target. So I'm going to say what version of JavaScript I want from TypeScript compiler. 
So I'm going to target ECMAScript 5, which is JavaScript 5, and I'm going to choose module common JS. We'll go through module in more detail in a future video but for now common js module is module that is compatible for node.js this is enough for now i'm going to go to task here and i'm going to choose run build task so this is going to list this typescript compiler task because vs code has detected that we have tsconfig file so we are trying to develop using typescript so it's basically offering us this build task so we can transpile typescript into javascript so i'm going to click this as you can see here it is actually transpiling the typescript into javascript and you can see the javascript here because we don't have much going on in our typescript file our typescript and javascript file looks identical but trust me when we have more typescript code in main.ts the typescript file will look a lot different than what we have in typescript so I'm going to do one more thing here actually because I don't want to run this build task every time I make some changes. I'm going to ask TypeScript compiler to watch for any file changes and automatically transpile it to JavaScript. So I'm going to say watch true. Now I'm going to run my build task using run build task. So now a build task is running and this time it is running in a watch mode that you can see from this message. So now whenever I make any changes to my TypeScript file and save it, it's automatically going to be transpiled into javascript file so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to change this message from hello to hello again and i'm going to save this as soon as i save this typescript compiler has detected that a file has been changed and it has compiled it so you can see the compiled result here what we are going to do next is we are going to set up launch configuration so that we can use f5 to run our program and see the result to set up launch configuration click on this debug icon and uh, click on this cog so this is going to give you a default settings for node debugger we are going to use node as our debugger so we are going to basically use node platform to run our javascript so here what we need to do is i'm just going to remove this output file but i'm going to copy this workspace root so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask node to run a file which is available in workspace root called main.js so whenever i press f5 now node will go and look for a file called main.js in the root folder of this workspace and it will try to run it so if i press f5 now you can see the message here if i go and change the message on my typescript file hello once again and if i save this my javascript file will be up to date now and if i press f5 i will be seeing the new message on my debug console here you go you can see it shows the new message now that's it we are all set for developing with typescript now